you're gonna go on, you're gonna become world champions. It should drive you, it should. It works for me, it should drive you. You get all the talent in the world, it's all here. Can LeBron James take his first step toward legendary status? Find out next. LeBron James left open. The high arcing rainbow offering swishes through the nets. He's going to get 50. Oh, yeah. Here's James a call. Oh, no. Let's go. With the first pick in the 2003 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. To LeBron, LeBron James' first shot is good. Welcome to the NBA. Here he comes the other way. There's your first James Jam of his career. <laughs> Whoa. Williams had a rejected look at LeBron James. Very, very deep. And he was not a number scout there. Big surprise goes to LeBron James, who with 29 points, six rebounds, and two assists, and a host of other intangibles, is the youngest MVP in the history of the NBA All-Star Game. Congratulations, LeBron. Man, it means a lot. Uh, you know, the hard work and dedication has paid off, and, uh, and I'd like to thank the fans for voting me in as a starter, and uh, I was just showcasing my talent today. LeBron drives and lays it in. No, no person going to get out of the line on that team if the best player does what James does. Man, oh man. Anything he wants right now. Six. One, two, three. Right. Four, five, six. Together. All work on three. Together on six. One, two, three. All right. Four, five, six. Together. And led by these fans, led by these fans, some might call them the difference. You have led your team, but always thought team first. So congratulations to LeBron James. The 2008-2009 NBA Most Valuable Player. Uh, you 20,000 plus fans, man, you, you guys are unbelievable. You guys have done everything for me since I was drafted in 2003 all the way now to 2009. And you guys mean just as much to this MVP trophy than my 14 teammates, than my coaching staff, then my family, you guys have a big part in this MVP trophy also. I know you guys have been sitting around your houses for the last nine days and been wondering who we gonna play. You guys been getting a little bored, so I don't wanna take much of your time because I'm ready to get on the court too, so uh, let's enjoy the night. And let's go, baby. Um, 
and this fall I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Fans have given their hearts to LeBron the last seven years, if not more, if you go back to high school at St. V's. And now LeBron has disappointed them all. How arrogant to get on national TV and slap the city and the team that supported you since you've been in high school straight in the face like that. Cleveland and, you know, it was, it was worth the campaign and all the, all the hard work and time we put into it. I feel like, you know, we lost a family member. He was part of our team. He was part of our family. We're from Cleveland. You're supposed to stick together with family, right? You know, family stays strong, and you don't leave your family no matter what. Is this worse than the Browns leaving in 94? Oh, that's pretty close. Pretty close. Took the whole team away. Um, there's other players out there. There'll probably never be another LeBron anywhere in Super Bowl. with his usual pregame theatrics, the first reigning league MVP to change teams since Moses Malone did a 1982 ball from Philadelphia to Houston. After he recovered, shot cross to one. James, yes! LeBron James with his first field goal as a member of the Miami Heat. That's the one thing that having he There were 12 NBA franchises that had not won an NBA championship. There are now 11. The Dallas Mavericks, your 2011 NBA champ, Stuart Scott, Mike Wilbon, John Barry, and a guy who's done it five times, Irvin Magic Johnson. Guys, the Heat were at home. They had a chance? Did they have a chance? Oh, yeah. More than a chance. And then they <laughs> got home. hit by the Dallas Mavericks <laughs> all upside the head. Let's take a look at how it went down. Game six from here in Miami. LeBron, D-Wade trying to force the game. Some scuffle breaks out. Stevenson and Mario Chalmers pushing and shoving. Everybody's on the court. What happens here, Magic? Well, it's an intense game, and... Uh, Haslam and Stevenson got into it first, and then Chalmers came in to save his teammate, and it's just like a lot of pushing and shoving. That's all it was, Stuart. Let's take a look, though, at where the yep. stars are. Dirk not involved, Wade not involved, LeBron trying to break it up. Technical fouls issued to Chalmers, Haslam, and Stevenson. In attendance, NBA Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations, Stu Jackson, he's going to review the scuffle. Guys can't come off the bench, Wilbon, but as you pointed out, well, during a timeout, if they were already on the floor, and that's a big question, why they were reviewing it, then they would not be suspended. But the NBA was talking about reviewing it. Maybe they still will, but there seems to be a moot point now. Jason Terry picking up the slack. In transition, JT was fierce. And Dirk finally stopped it. Seven feet, you can shoot threes like that. 8 of 15 in the second half. Just over six minutes to play. Dirk Nowitzki, clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Whew. Fun to watch. Under three to play. Did we mention he was one of 12 shooting in the first half? Nasty. That's just filthy. Yeah, that's why he was the MVP of this series. Mariano Rivera. <laughs> Ten points it out in the fourth quarter. Mavs up 12, but just over 30 seconds to play. Warbon, who else? Why not the icing? Let it finish. Dirk going left. Seems like the way we started the playoffs, wasn't it? <laughs> Dirk was buck. Buck is when internal artistry meets physical expression. Ball game. The Dallas Mavericks win the NBA championship. Bother you that so many people are happy to see you fail? Absolutely not. Because at the end of the day, um, all the people that was rooting on me to fail, um, you know, at the end of the day, they got to wake up tomorrow, have the same life that they had um, before they woke up today. You know, they got the same personal problems that they had today. You know, and I'm going to continue to live the way I want to live and continue to do the things that I want to do uh, with me and my family and be happy with that. So, um, you know, they can get a few days or a few months or whatever the case may be on uh, being happy about um, not only myself, um, but the Miami Heat not accomplishing their goal. But, From the start, you know, you get back to the mission was clear. Not, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. At last, LeBron's talents have pushed the Heat to the brink of a championship. Hey, LeBron James from downtown! His first elusive title, one victory away. A devastating defeat for Oklahoma City. The young Thunder have learned painful lessons in these finals. Desperate now to keep their season alive. 
Thunder. One at a time. We get one win. Heat. Give it all that you got and leave everything out there on that floor, man. Game five of the NBA Finals is next on ABC. The way to Thomas. Game's on the break. And the finish. Cephalosha remains on LeBron James, who gets inside, count it, and one. And that's two on Cephalosha. Catches the ball in the paint. Catch and finish. We're midway through the first. James drives right at Ibaka. Count it, and a foul. No one picks up Bosch, so no one's up on the screen on the ball. James gets a running start and attacks the rim with ferocity and strength. The Miami Heat up six early. Harden back on James. Quick spin drive right at Perkins and banks it in. So strong going to the rim. And that's too easy. And Perkins has no chance to get outside and really have a chance to impact that shot. But the strength, did you see the Three-point line and off the turnover. Good play by Mario Chalmers and the finish by LeBron James. He was under the basket further than he thought. And it's not even halftime of game five. James again drives inside. Ibaka stays with him and he still puts it in. We're going to the basket. This is a man who wants to win the championship, Michael, and he's taking his team, putting it on, on the back. He's driving right at Ibaka right there, and one. He comes right in, oopsie dooped on Ibaka again, and he takes it right to the basket. One more time. Their franchise's second championship. Wade throws it to James down the lane. Layup takes it in. Largest lead of the night. Timeout, Thunder. In command. And this was really not a great offensive possession. Wade goes up, finds James on the bailout. But the finish is so exquisite to adjust, adapt, avoid, and then knock in a layup to put him up 19. James has 19. He flips it up. That won't go. Still battling for rebounds. James won't. Gets another one. Puts it up. Banks it in. And a foul. He gets his triple-double and a chance for a three-point. Well, after a couple shaky possessions, great effort by James. The initial shot missed, back up again, and then the strength to earn the three-point opportunity. He's going to get a nice big contract somewhere. You'd expect it to be in Oklahoma City as James finishing it off. So happy. It has been wonderful joy. What a difference a year makes. 2011 had such a bitter ending, making this silly. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted.
what my future was about. And I understood that coming to Miami and being a part of this organization and being able to put together this team, I knew we had a bright future. And, uh, you know, this is a dream come true for me. I've been through a lot in the last two years, but, uh, you know, this is definitely the way that it pays off. Your approach in this finals is in stark contrast to the guy we saw in last year's finals. What put you in a place to get back to being LeBron James? Uh, losing in the finals last year put me back in place. Uh, it humbled me a lot. And I was able to go back to the basics. A lot of people had a lot to do with it, but at the end of the day, I just looked myself in the mirror and said, uh, you need to be better, both on and off the floor. And uh, I'm happy that I was able to put myself and our team in a position to win this. Look in that mirror and smile, LeBron. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Mike. Thanks so much. Well, Jeff, he was a different player on the court this year and a different person off the court, it appeared, especially the way he handled everything that surrounds being an NBA player in the spotlight. Uh, 28.6 points. 2012 NBA Finals. 2013 NBA Finals. <laughs> Game on our home floor to bring home another championship, man. This is everything that we worked for all season long. All the sacrifices we've made to each other, dog. Every single day, dog. Every single minute. It's going to pay off. They say hard work pay off, man. So let's make that statement become true. LeBron James and the Heat coming off one of the most remarkable finishes you'll ever see a breathtaking overtime victory in game six to keep their season alive. Money. Meanwhile, Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs suffering as gut-wrenching a loss as you can imagine. It's one in 78. Nice pass. And James converts it. And very interesting, Danny Green is matched up on Chalmers tonight. He's got to go to it. Wade, that opportunity, his second field goal. Four points for Wade, three-point San Antonio lead. James and a foul! Took a hard hit, put it in, and a chance for a three-point play. It has looked like that, even for some of these young guys. Game six took so much out of them, but James still showing his power here. Well, this is when he's at his best, in the open court with seams. San Antonio didn't get back and shut off that seam. But the ball's come to a stop a lot more. James for three! I mean, these are like practice shots. He knocks it in. But if you're San Antonio, this is what you're willing to live with. You can't take away everything from a great player. He's only shooting 29% from three-point range in these finals. That's five for five so far tonight. Ray Allen kicks it out. James sets three-pointer. It's good. His second three-pointer of the game. Miami five for 12 from downtown. They're packing it in like they did earlier in this finals. Wade spins, fires, shot off the mark. James easily tips it in with Parker on him. That's the negative of switching. It leaves you mismatched on the offensive board. Parker, head fake. James steps wide open for three. That's three three-pointers for LeBron James. And those are like practice shots. No one is even close to it. Green on the drive, bad pass through it right to Miller. And here's Wade down the other end for a dunk. And that's such a costly turnover against a team like the Miami Heat. Allen off the screen. James will try another three. Hucks it in. LeBron James, fourth three-pointer of the game. And the Heat back up by two. Here, LeBron James again. The cushion. I like that he's not being indecisive. Catch and shoot, play off your instincts, trust your skill level. Leonard daring him. Ray Allen and James. Again, look how far off they're playing. He'll try it again. It's good! 
LeBron James making the Spurs pay a five-point heat lead. James drives hard to the basket and draws the foul. LeBron James fired up right now. You see Ray Allen, give it right back to me. Wanted it right back. And the strength, the power through Kawhi Leonard. James in the first six games of these finals had just seven three-pointers, seven of 24. In, remotely in the same area on any of these three. These are like practice shots. The Heat have already taken 21 threes. James has taken eight. And it will be interesting to see if and when San Antonio decides to adjust and try to close that space, which then could lead to more dribble drive opportunities. Largest lead is seven. That with the Spurs in the opening minutes. James pulls up, puts it in. 28 points for LeBron James, who has been extraordinary in game sevens and elimination games in his career. Ginobili, Neal fakes, Neal drives, the floater won't go, Diaz kicks it out the corner, Battier puts it in, five for five for Battier. Shot clock at five. James puts it up, knocks it down. 31 for LeBron James. Timeout, San Antonio. Six to shoot. James. It's good. 33 for LeBron James. Here comes James. Drives. Kicks out Battier for three. Bang! Back to Ginobili. Inside Duncan. Across the lane. Duncan misses the tip. No good. And box the rebound. A bounce here, a bounce there. That was a story in game six. Also here in game seven. And you see Tim Duncan, the frustration, knew the opportunity was right there. And the question now is, does Miami try to generate a quick shot to get a two-for-one situation or do they just want to get the best possible shot in this 14 seconds left on the shot clock the stoic Tim Duncan showing James pulls up puts it in four-point lead 35 for LeBron James timeout San Antonio Their go-to play, Chalmers screening for James. The 17-footer. Leonard tries to close the gap late. Excellent balance by James and knocks it in to give him a four-point lead. A brilliant performance for LeBron James once again in game seven. This is what he's worked on, his jump shot to make him the complete offensive player. And when he needed this skill to shine through in a big moment, it has here in game seven. That improvement to take advantage of the way San Antonio was guarding him, he has responded in a huge way. And Tony Parker out of the game. Ginobili inside the Duncan. Back to Ginobili. Ginobili out of control, throws it away. And Duncan fouls James. Manu Ginobili left his feet and a critical turnover with 23.5 remaining. Six point game. Battier tips it out to Chalmers. Wade throws it up to James. The Spurs will not foul. Final seconds. What a finish. It's back to back titles for the Heat. The 2013 NBA Championship resides once again in Miami.
2013 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player is for the second straight finals, LeBron James. Uh, like Spo said, first of all, I want to give a lot of credit to the San Antonio Spurs. First class organization, they pushed us to the limit. I work on my game a lot throughout the offseason. I put a lot of work into it. And to be able to come out here and, and the results happen out on the floor is the ultimate. Uh, it's the ultimate. I, I mean, I can't, I'm lost for words. LeBron, you are constantly faced with the din of noise from the outside, scrutiny and pressure. How, when everybody is coming at you, do you keep your head man. and perform at the level you That's do? Listen, uh, for me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from Akron, Ohio, from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. That's enough. Every night I walk into the the locker room, I see a number six with James on the back. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no worries. Congratulations, LeBron. Thank you. We fight. That's what it's all about right here. That's what it's all about. Just keep it coming. Keep giving me motivation. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan.